Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to do the health system for my shooter game. Okay, so let's go. So, first of all what you want to do is click on this tab on the left. This is called the variables, variables tab. So what you want to do is create a new variable with this button here. And you will call this health. So this health variable is going to change when these slimes or enemies or whatever you've made get too close. So what you want to do is, because you don't have an actual character because it's a first person game, you can just put all of your code for the character on here, on the stage. So, when the game starts, you want to set the health to a certain amount. So let's just say 10. So then what you want to do is on the enemy code, after it's gotten to a certain size, because remember, when you start the game, the characters get to a certain size and then stop. So what you want to do is add a change variable button here and change that to a negative 1. Then, when the health, when these enemies get too close, then the health will start to go down. As you can see. So, then what you want to do is you want to make some sort of game over system. So to do this, you want to go back onto the stage and create a new backdrop. So on this, you want to create a new backdrop by either duplicating the original one or just clicking on paint. So then you can choose a background colour. I'm going to go for this kind of dark red and you can just drag a square over to create a normal colour. Then, on the text tab, you can then change the colour to whatever you want, but make sure it's a different colour so it will stand out. So I'm going to make it black. So then you just click, and you, ty you can type in Game Over, or whatever message you want. So then you can click off it, and scale it up to be the right size. Then, you can click on it and line up the cross, the blue cross in the middle with the white cross on the tab, the uh, section there, and it will put it in the middle. So then what you want to do is make it so that this actually shows. So you want it so that at the start it switches to first backdrop. Actually, no. First of all, we'll just give it a normal title, so we'll call this one Normal Oops, Sorry, not the microphone then And we'll call this one Dead So, then what you want to do is When the game starts, you switch the backdrop to normal Then add a forever loop And an if Then, if you put some things as If that is less than and you go into the variable and the health so then you say if health is less than one this means if the health is zero or negative one or negative two then the game will end so what you can do then is switch the backdrop to dead so as you can see the enemies come up and they start to get rid of your health and then, when the health gets to zero, then it switches to game over. Ah, oh, but you can't actually see the game over. So what you want to do is go onto the enemy code, and you want to add a forever, and just repeat the same code from before, if the health is less than zero then you want it to delete the clone so then 
what should happen is when the health eventually goes down to zero, then the, all of the clones will disappear and the game over is there. Ah, oh, right. That didn't work because it was only activating after the end of the other code, so we just want to make it so that that happens at the very start of the clones code. So you just separate it and put a when I start as clone. So then you should see as the enemies come and the health goes down to zero, then they should disappear. And we'll take a bit, and there we go. And that means you have lost. Ooh. So then, one more thing that you want to do is just make it so the health can't go into negatives, because that doesn't really make any sense. So to do this, it's quite simple. All you have to do is add some code that goes, if the health is less than, which is the left pointing arrow, zero, then it will set the health to zero. So then this just means that if it is in a negative, so let's just start the game and set the health to three, just to make it a bit quicker, you will see that if the health goes into the negatives, it will just stay at zero. Also, the enemies appear to still be there. If health is less than zero, then delete this clone. Oh, <laughs> right, it's because I put health less than zero and not health less than one. So, now that the enemies should all disappear. There we go. And that is how you implement a health system into the game. So, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe for more tutorials, and I'll see you soon. Bye!